So you're thinking about moving to Great Falls, Virginia, but you'd kind of like to know a little bit more about the lay of the land and what the area has to offer before you decide to make that big move. Well, in today's video, that's exactly what we're going to be covering. I'm actually gonna take you into my computer so that I can show you around on Google Maps, give you an idea of commute time to DC and other local employment hubs, give you an idea of commute time to the local airports and what Great Falls has to offer. If that's something you're interested in, be sure to stick around because we're gonna get after it right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living, eating, sleeping, working, and playing in Northern Virginia, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell for notifications so that you never miss a video. My name is Amanda and the team and I get calls every single day from people just like you looking to make their move to Northern Virginia and we absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, reach out on social, whatever works for you, we've got your back when you're making that move to Northern Virginia. Okay, so here we are taking a look at Great Falls and before we get into commuting times and proximity to the airport, et cetera, just like to point out where it is um, in Northern Virginia and what it's close to. And Great Falls is very unique in that it has a rural feel and you will see a lot of homes that are on a large amount of acreage, large by Northern Virginia standards. And Great Falls is very quiet, but it's also just a hop, skip and a jump to the hustle and bustle of Tyson's Corner and McLean. You're very close to the toll road and Route 7, so very easy in terms of commuter routes. And it really just is a charming place. With that charm, of course, comes the high cost of living. But if you are looking for an extremely convenient location in terms of proximity to DC and also a quieter, more private lifestyle, Great Falls is absolutely worth checking out. So let's get into proximity. We are gonna start out with commuting from Great Falls into Washington, DC. It's not too far from DC, just shy of 18 miles or so, depending on where you um, are coming from in Great Falls. And right now you can see about 37 minutes. There is a little bit of traffic, um, which is very normal, both for Great Falls and uh, Northern Virginia in general. And you do have some different options when commuting from Great Falls, if you are headed into the city let me grab my marker here and depending on which way you want to go, you could take Georgetown Pike to GW Parkway or you could also take what it's showing right now is the toll road and then come in on 66. Really just depends on what traffic is doing. I wouldn't say that there's a right or a wrong. Depends on what time of day you're coming in. I'm going to switch over here to this is Georgetown Pike and then come in to GW Parkway. This is definitely a prettier drive, but as you can see right now, it's a little bit longer by a few minutes. Um, but no matter where you live in Great Falls, it's definitely a reasonable commute into the city. And the next one we always like to look at is Arlington because it is a big employment hub in our area. You're looking at about a half an hour commute, 15 miles, to get from Great Falls to Arlington. Same thing, uh, right now it's showing us that the toll road to 66 is going to be the fastest, but time-wise, there's not a whole lot of difference here. I'm gonna switch over to see what it looks like if you cut through McLean instead. So if you're going to Great Falls, you could also hop on Old Dominion Drive and cut into Arlington from there as well. Gives you some different options, which in Northern Virginia is always a plus because just depending on what traffic is doing or if there's been an accident on one route, it's always nice to have some other options. And now we're gonna take a look at Tyson's Corner. Very, very convenient to Great Falls. A lot of people who live in Great Falls commute, I say commute to Tyson's because by Northern Virginia standards, 10 miles away, 20, 30 minute commute. Um, it really doesn't get better than that here. So as you can see, showing here right now, 
If you're gonna take the toll road, then you're looking at about 17 minutes and just shy of 10 miles to get into Tyson's Corner from Great Falls. The next thing we are gonna take a look at is proximity to Dulles Airport. And we will do both airports like we normally do. Great Falls is convenient to both Dulles and to Reagan. I would say it's darn near right in the middle and I'll showcase that in a second here. To Dulles, you're looking at just over 11 miles in about 20 minutes if you're coming from Great Falls to catch your flight. And let's take a look at Reagan. It's gonna be a little over 19 miles and it's gonna be about the same time as well. 30 minutes or so, depending on what traffic is doing. Um, Great Falls really is sort of dead in the middle in terms of proximity to Dulles or to Reagan. Dulles is a few minutes closer, but not by much. So next, let's take a look at proximity to Metro. There is no Metro station in Great Falls. The closest stations are going to be Spring Hill and Greensboro, which we'll take a look at next. Spring Hill, you're looking at about 15 minutes and a little over six miles to get to the actual Metro station. And then Greensboro, you're looking at a little over seven miles and about 20 minutes. Um, one thing about Great Falls, it is an absolutely beautiful area, but I would say it really is car dependent because you don't have a metro stop, or a, excuse me, a metro station. And there are bus stops, but they're few and far between. So you really are going to need a car or some type of transportation if you're living in Great Falls. It wasn't set up to be um, all that walkable or even bikeable. All right, so now that we have taken a look at commuter routes and transportation, proximity to the airport, let's check out what there is to do in Great Falls. And I mentioned earlier, Great Falls is a quiet area, so you're not going to find a ton of shopping centers, you're not going to find a movie theater, there's not a lot of hustle and bustle, and that's part of what makes it so charming. We're going to be looking at Great Falls Village Center first, and it's really in the center of Great Falls. It's a charming shopping center, um, it's a variety of local boutiques, restaurants and cafes, and it's a fun place to stroll around, spend an afternoon or grab a bite to eat. And a lot of these businesses are small businesses, so it's always nice to be able to support them. Katie's Coffee has a um, car show on Saturday mornings. There's a weekly farmer's market, and in the summertime, there are concerts on the green as well here. I believe there is also fireworks um, at the 4th of July and there's definitely lights at Christmas time too. So this is kind of like the center of Great Falls. And I'm gonna go through, let me grab my marker here to give you an idea of what's there. You of course have your ABC store, you've got a Mexican restaurant, gas up at Exxon if you need to. There is mobile veterinary services that are, um, their central location is here at Great Falls Village Center. Shoe repair, you have an Italian deli. They have really good pizza here. If you're looking for a good pizza spot, I really enjoy it. Peruvian cuisine, you have Great Falls Creamery, Chiropractor, Thin Thai. You also have Wells Fargo Bank. And I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit more. I guess go down, I should say, because there's also Great Falls Center and that's where Safeway is. And that's going to be your closest grocery store when you are living in Great Falls. Um, keep that in mind because there's just not a ton of options. Again, that really is what's so wonderful about Great Falls. It's a quieter place to live. Everything is nearby and I'll get into that shortly, but as far as options directly within Great Falls, well, there's not a ton of those. Come down here, you have a nail salon, Pilates. You also have Bollywood Bistro, Bistro Azumi Sushi, Starbucks, you need to get your Starbucks fix salon as well. So there are some great just mom and pop type places in Great Falls. I'm gonna come up here to also show you Village Grill. Really good food there too, UPS store. So you do have what you need just for daily needs in the shopping center. But if you want to venture out and say, go to the movies or go to the mall, 
I'll touch on that shortly. It's very nearby in Tyson's Corner or the Ruston Town Center. So I don't want you to think that it's too far away. It's just not right in Great Falls. The other thing that I want to point out in Great Falls, which is actually a McLean address, but it's Great Falls Park. So of course we have to feature it with Great Falls. Great Falls Park is 800 acres. It's about 15 miles from BC, but if you live in Great Falls, it's right in your backyard and it has absolutely breathtaking views of the Potomac River. No exaggeration, they are just incredible. Whether you land in Great Falls or even just somewhere within, I would say, I would make a couple hour drive to even go to Great Falls Park. It's a big tourist area. A pro tip, if you are going on the weekends to Great Falls Park, get there super, super early because the parking does fill up quickly. I believe admission is $20. And then the other thing that's right in Great Falls, which is fun to go just learn about the history, is Colvin Run Mill. And this is a restored 19th century water powered mill. You can go take a tour of that. Um, just fun to learn about how it all functions. You can actually see it when you are driving on Route 7. If you're headed out um, to Loudoun County, it'll be, if you're headed west on Route 7, it'll be on your right side and you can see the mill that's been restored. And then last up for actually in Great Falls is Riverbend Golf and Country Club. If you enjoy golf and would like to become a member of a country club, Riverbend is a very popular, beautiful place. I have never played there, but I have actually been in the country club and it's just a beautiful setting. I have friends that are members and play there regularly and really enjoy it. So as I mentioned in Great Falls itself, Great Falls proper, I'll say, there is not a ton in terms of shopping centers or entertainment or nightlife. That's not how this Great Falls was designed. Great Falls is a small town and has a lot of charm, history and natural beauty, but it's not where you're going to be if you are looking to get some entertainment in or have a lot of dining options. But not to worry, very close by is Reston Town Center, just about six miles away. Closer, I mean, it could be five minutes away, depending on where you are in Great Falls. Reston Town Center is really the epicenter of Reston and draws in people from all over Northern Virginia. Near Reston Town Center, you have a Trader Joe's as well, if you need to get some grocery shopping in. And there's also a Harris Teeter right next to Reston Town Center. So no shortage of grocery options nearby um, Great Falls as well. It's only about 15 minutes away. Reston also has a Target and a Home Depot as well for those daily needs. And then next up, we are going to head back to Tyson Corner Center where we showed commute wise um, proximity from Great Falls to Tyson. And Tyson's Corner Center is one of two huge shopping malls in the Tyson's area. There's Tyson's Galleria and then there's Tyson's Corner Center. Endless amounts of shopping, you can go to the movies, plenty of restaurant options, anything that you might need in terms of wanting to explore a little more or have more dining options is anywhere from five to 15 minutes from Great Falls. So I just wanna reiterate that nothing is far away. Great Falls is really the place to be if you want some breathing room, some elbow room, you want larger lot sizes, more privacy within your personal home. Great Falls is a great choice because you can get all of that there while still just being minutes from daily needs. And the, the location is just so convenient. And Great Falls is an absolutely beautiful place to call home. That wraps up our Google Map tour of Great Falls. Great Falls has about 14,793 people. It has a median household income of $250,001 and a median home value of $1,459,107. If you have any questions about Great Falls, drop us a comment below. We always love hearing from you. And as always, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, reach out on social, whatever works for you. We've got your back when you're making that move to Northern Virginia. And until next time, we hope to show you around town.